Hello all, welcome to another edition of Food Sack. I'm Dana McDonald's having a look at their brand new summer menu. Now they've released four new things, or rather re-released four new things for summer. Uh, and what a beautiful summer's day it is for them to release these new items. So they have four new things. They have the Caramilk McFlurry with Hokey Pokey. I'm not quite sure what that is. I, uh, I look forward to trying that. They've released the El Maco. They re-released that, uh, their Mexican-themed sort of Big Mac. They've also brought out the Jalapeno Pops. Trying again with them. I hope they're not as bad as they were last time. And finally, the Cajun Chicken Deluxe. So I'm going to check out two things. I'm going to check out the Jalapeno Pops and the Cajun Chicken Deluxe just to see what they're like. I might get the McFlurry and the El Maco later. I don't know, who knows. So anyway, the Cajun Chicken Deluxe, it looks pretty exciting. It's just the Chicken Deluxe with some Cajun sauce on it. Now, I've never been to New Orleans. I'm not that familiar with Cajun cooking, but I have listened to a lot of Creedence Clearwater Revival lately. So I am feeling very, uh, you know, of the bayou. I hope they get the flavors right there. And I do wonder if it is the same Cajun sauce that they had with the nuggets with the BTS meal, because that was actually quite good. I did like that Cajun sauce. They did release that recently with the uh, with that nugget sauce promotion that they were doing for a bit. So hopefully it's the same thing. That would definitely improve the chicken deluxe. Uh, making it a Cajun Chicken Deluxe, I suppose. And then yes, I'm going to look at the Jalapeno Pops. I've never had these on the channel before, but I do recall having them from like five years ago. And they were probably one of the most disappointing things I've ever had. Never has the difference between expectation and reality been so wide, so wide. Jalapeno Pops, or Jalapeno Poppers, I think they're called in like normal Mexican restaurants, they're actually really good. I, I really love uh, jalapeno poppers, but the McDonald's version were awful. They were really bad. Every component was bad when I tried it last time. That was a few years ago. Maybe they've been in the kitchen. Maybe uh, Grimace has been cooking up a new recipe. They, uh, you know, beat him up until he improved it. Maybe, maybe there's something better. Maybe they have improved on the original jalapeno pops. It wouldn't be hard to do. It wouldn't be hard to do, but... I will check them out, see if they're any good, and uh, let you know. So let's get to the drive-thru. Hello, you using your mobile app at all? Uh, no, I'm not. No worries, man. What can I do for you? Yeah, can I get the, um, oh yeah, can I get the Cajun... Chicken Deluxe, Cajun yeah. Chicken Deluxe. Is it a large meal or just by itself? Uh, just by itself, thanks. Cajun Chicken Deluxe, yep. Yeah, and can I get the cheesy jalapeno pops as well? Yep, anything else? No, that's fine, thanks. Champion, mate, you can drive down when you're ready. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. Yes, please. Hey, is that sauce on the Cajun Chicken Deluxe the same as uh, the BTS meal Cajun sauce? I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Um, could tell you to be sure, and I don't want to lead you on, but I'm yeah. pretty sure it's Cajun sauce, yeah. Yeah. Right. You're not 100% sure you can't bring the management team and they can tell you. Ah, uh, no, that's cool. I just, uh, it was quite good, that sauce, so. Oh, okay. Hope it's oh, the same one. It's the same with the jalapeno cheese pots. Oh, okay. Sweet. They're actually really good. Oh, yeah? Alright. Give them a go and see how you go. Brilliant. Not that spicy, just like you know that. Oh, uh, no, that's good. I, I like spice. But yeah, yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Oh, sorry to keep you waiting, guys. Nice guy. Yeah. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. Alrighty, acquired. Alrighty, back from the drive-thru with my Cajun Chicken Deluxe and my Jalapeno Pops. I don't know why they're not called Jalapeno Poppers, just Jalapeno Pops. Whatever. Here they are. Let's have a look. Okay. Wow. Alrighty. Interesting. It does have its own special box. That is uh, pretty rare these days. They normally recycle the box, so they seem to have a lot of faith in the Cajun Chicken Deluxe to get its own clamshell box. This is pretty rare, pretty rare. Also, we do have the Jalapeno Pops. Or, well actually, this is weird. On the menu it said Jalapeno Pops. On here it says Jalapeno Poppers. What's going on? Why the discrepancy? Um, I don't know. 
I don't know. Maybe this is the American packaging or something. And we seem to have four in there. We'll be taking a closer look at them later. So, uh, and that also came with the El Maco sauce. I am wearing a white t-shirt today. One of my favorites, actually. I am tempting fate. Um, they didn't give me any, uh, any napkins. I forgot that word for some reason. It's gonna say McNapkins. But yes, anyway, I'm going to look at the chicken deluxe first. Sorry, the Cajun chicken deluxe. First, let's, uh, let's suss this one out. Okay, so sesame seed bun. Uh, looking all right so far. I don't know what they've done with the base here, the, the club, I think it's called. Club is the terminology. It's got the crown. No, wait, the club is the middle bit. The heel, heel, pardon me. I am learning my McDonald's terminology despite not working there. The three parts of the bun are the crown, the club, and the heel. Anyway, let's have a look at this thing. So, yeah, it looks, uh, you know, not bad. It's stacked relatively well. Now, this was 8.45. I'll just double check that. Yes, uh, pardon me, $8.75, $8.75. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's got fresh tomato, lettuce, cheese, and that big bit of chicken. Oh, and the Cajun sauce, obviously. But is it any good? Let's have a go. Mmm. So that part largely avoided the Cajun sauce. I'll just uh, make sure I get some on this bite. I will. Mmm, that chicken is dry. All right, let's have a go. Mmm. <coughs> Whoa. All righty. Not, uh, not mild, not mild. It does have a little bit of kick to it. But yeah, as far as I can see, as far as I can taste, this is the same as the Cajun sauce they had with the nuggets for the BTS meal, which they did bring back recently for that nuggets sauce thing where they had the four special nugget sauces. This is a pretty messy burger. Yeah, this is not bad. It's not bad. Uh, it's not uh, It's not bringing home, you know, visions of the bayou. It's not the, the taste of the Big Easy, I would say. I don't, I don't really know. It'd be interesting to hear what, you know, anyone from... Louisiana would think, but um, it's not bad. Mmm. I will say the chicken is a bit dry today. They should really put the McSpicy chicken fillet on that. That would be way better, way better. But yeah, it, you know, it really tastes a lot like Perinay's. They could just as easily call this the Peri Peri chicken burger and no one would bat an eyelid, no one would say, that's not very peri peri ish. In fact, it's like almost identical to that Perinase that that Nando sells in the shops. So you could recreate this at home very easily, I think, with some Perinase. Mmm, not great. Anyway, let's uh, let's look at the jalapeno pops or poppers now. Again, don't know what the official title is, but yeah. Anyway, we get four of these now. I don't know why. They are in a like triangle shape there. Kind of onigiri shaped, to be honest. I've never seen a triangular jalapeno in the wild. Um, but yeah, as I said, we get four. We get four, so um, not bad. Now, how much were these? These were $4.25 plus the El Maco salsa tub. So really, you're paying $1 for this one dollar for this and 25 cents for the sauce i don't know if that's a great deal to be honest i don't know if that's a great deal now the guy said that these aren't that spicy i don't know i'll be the judge of that anyway let's have a try Ugh. hmm now that is some very green cheese um Okay, I said in the intro there that these were incredibly disappointing the last time I had them. I am pleased to report that these are slightly better 
than I remember. <laughs> Slightly better. Actually, not that bad. Maybe it's because I um, really did not like them last time. They have improved somewhat. They definitely now have a jalapeno flavor. Last time, I remember they just tasted like capsicum. I could have sworn they just put capsicum in them. But yeah, these are a little bit different to the jalapeno poppers you would get in a Mexican restaurant. Like, good jalapeno poppers are like a jalapeno filled with mozzarella cheese, battered, and then deep fried, which are really good. This is actually like reconstituted bits of jalapeno and the McDonald's cheese mixed up and then wrapped in some sort of batter. But I gotta say, the McDonald's cheese, you know, it works fine on a Big Mac, you know, sliced and put on top of some beef or chicken, it works fine, but mashed up, sorry, like put into this like ball shape, triangle shape and, and melted, it just doesn't quite work as well. The mouth feel is all off, it's kind of sticky, and weird. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's not bad. The flavor has definitely improved, and whatever the, 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 the batter is better than what it was last time. Last time I remember it was kind of a breadcrumb. This is uh, more of the like nuggety sort of uh, like, I don't know, flour and water sort of batter mixture. Anyway, I'll try it with the El Maco sauce. That just smells like B.O. Smells like the last taxi I was in. That, that Smells weird. Anyway, let's try this. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of sweet, to be honest. It's like sweet chili sauce and tomato sauce kind of mixed together. It's not brilliant. Um. But yeah, it does have some, like, notes of paprika. I don't know. I'll try it with the, uh, with the Cajun sauce. Hmm, yeah, definitely not bad. I mean, I think they've improved on the recipe, but still, you're left with this slimy, sticky cheese sauce on your teeth afterwards. So, not great, but you know, that's McDonald's. That's McDonald's for you. A lot of people love it. Other people, like myself, just merely tolerate it. If you are like drunk at 3 a.m., then this is a decent meal. This is fine. All up, by the way, this was $13 for these two items. As I said, the uh, the burger was $8.75 and the jalapeno pops were $4.25. That's kind of a ripoff, to be honest, for the jalapeno pops. I'm not sure if that's great, but the uh, the burger is is fairly standard McDonald's fare. I mean, it is their their standard chicken deluxe just with uh, perinase instead of mayonnaise. So, well done to uh, to Grimace for making some improvements to the menu. But um, but yeah, this is this is just another rehash. You know, it was the same last year, McDonald's. They're like, oh, we're re-releasing favorites for summer. It's like, can you actually just make something new for summer? Like, that would be better. It's getting a bit, uh, it's getting a bit stale, McDonald's. Sorry to tell you, but uh, yeah, work harder. Um, also, I did notice that this particular store, this, this store, now has chocolate soft serve. So I might check that out at a later date. But anyway, as it is, this would get my, uh, my rating of about 6 out of 10, which is uh, not bad for McDonald's. <laughs> So there we go, many thanks for watching, many thanks for liking and subscribing. Uh, make sure to leave a comment, I really do appreciate that. I read every single one and I respond to most of them. It's only really the most baffling comments that I don't respond to. All, the, uh, all those like sex robot ones, I don't, I, mean, I just report them, um, which is, uh, you know, good practice. Um, but, but yeah, thanks. Thanks to the uh, to the Russian pornographers who who seem to support this channel um, pretty pretty rapidly, really. Um, I always seem to get messages from like Russian sex robot things. So thanks for your support. Cheers. Yeah,